The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman. Uh, Thursday, the 17th of August. Dow is up uh, 59 at 34,823. <clears throat> yes, finally, that nine period moving average crossed negative. Uh, we've been waiting for that from that left side from around about July the 26th. I was saying, look how strong the nine period moving average is. And if I do get some kind of a top, it's going to take a while, and the, the reason why we, we were attempting to pick the exact top is because with the strength of this nine-period moving average, let me just go to the uh, chart over here. With the strength of this nine-period moving average over there, it meant that at any point until it crossed negative, and even just as it's crossing negative, we've seen it before where there's a, just a one-day flip to the downside and then it goes back up um, you could get these spikes but if you pick the the opportunity to to try to identify the turnaround using whatever techniques you've got it just gives you that room that little bit of safety factor for those big pops to the upside so now we're looking at and i spoke for, about this for a long time internal high residual high it's like an earthquake that has an aftershock and the aftershock can often be uh much milder or about the same or even worse than the actual earthquake it happens at the bottoms it happens at the tops and uh then i spoke about this as potentially being a head and shoulders but it's not one of my favorite patterns at all because it's too late when you finally identify it and then it starts to move down. But even now, the Dow's up 103 points. Look what happened here in the S&P using this one technique. And I'm going to be discussing, let me just do this right now, and just so that at least I know I've done it. On the uh, Wednesday, August the 23rd, 4 o'clock to 5.30, this is a 90-minute webinar. It's like a workshop I'm going to give. For subscribers to my opening call, you become, can become a subscriber. And if you, you can go to all my webinars that are online. And if you don't like the service, you can cancel. That's just the way it is. Uh, so you get your money back. Uh, the power of the 914 moving average and other indicators in the Chapman Wave methodology. So it, it'll be in great detail. It'll talk about not just how I'm talking about it here, because it's it's uh, <clears throat> a paid service for um, for subscribers. I'll be able to go into, I can take as much time as I want, as opposed to, you know, when you've got a show like this, you've got people waiting in line, you've got people that are talking about all these other things and you want to get to them as quickly as possible. This time I can actually spend time looking at all these different techniques. How on earth, a question came up yesterday, <clears throat> how did you, how, what techniques did you use to help you at least try to pick the top? Well, first of all, we don't know if it's the top because at any point, you, I mean, it's only 35,679 was the high on the 1st of August where we went short. And yeah, we are at 34,877. We're not even a thousand points down. You could make up. If you just get one spur, one spark, it's, oops, I shouldn't use the word spark, one, I shouldn't use the word trigger, one action that really gets the market to, to sort to the upside, and it can happen. We could be back in that area of 35,500 very quickly. So um, I used a particular technique that I've used many times before. Uh, it's helped identify bottoms and tops. And um, it's something that says to me that if you learn how to use it, because it doesn't work, obviously nothing works every single time, it, together with other factors. For instance, I use the inverted. When I'm looking at some of these positions, I like to, if it's possible, to get an inverted. So with, with a SPY, you look, here's the SPY, made a top at 459.44 on the 27th of July, a couple of days before the Dow. Then gap down, never ever full that gap. The 9 period moving average turned negative uh, a week ago. But I like to look at the SH, for instance. I didn't in this particular instance, but I'm saying, look, the SH gave a nice turnaround candle on the day of the low, but then 
it hung around. So you didn't know whether you were right or wrong. But on this particular day, if you're looking at all my indicators, you'll see that that one, there's nothing here that gave you that exact turnaround low. And sometimes it does, and sometimes it doesn't. In this particular case, we were fortunate because other things, the 120-minute chart, just said to me, if this is the opportunity to do it because if you don't get it right with that nine-period moving average so strong, um, you want as little risk as possible. Okay, so that's one thing. So now the nine is, is negative, and the reason why I say that you've got to be a little bit careful in the beginning is that we've seen this before. No, it's a different chart pattern when you're looking at the S&P uh, using the 914. But there was a day where it turned down like this, right there in May. Remember May, May the 4th, and May the 5th, and it turned around? Um, but the chart pattern here is very different. This is an elongated move with the downside uh, very visually identifiable. I want to just, uh, I don't like doing this, but I'll do it now. You've got, in fact, more than a one-to-one -to, -one to the downside. Maybe maybe it's even a Gartney. I'm not sure right now, but look. <clears throat> so let's make that blue, and we'll make this pink. All right there. This is current. This is active right now. Um, here we go. Look. Make it pink, color pink. And we'll put it in over here. And we, we're just about there. Look, a one to one to the downside. I happen to like when it's a parallel move, I call it a one to one extension. Uh, in, and it has to go diagonally in the same direction, meaning the same number of bars. This has done the same, but it's moved a little bit too, uh, it's taken too long. All right, I'm out of that. Now let's, I'm talking about that. Now I need to talk about other things. So the reason why I say to subscribers, take a little bit off our short position of the Dow uh, this morning is because just for money management, I want you to make sure that at each stage, we're just taking a little bit off because you never know. You know, Dave, like Dave White had this fabulous expression um, uh, to, to take off Take money off when you can, not when you have to, and that's just a, that's a really that's just a beautiful. It just sums up money management so well. And if you're a little early and you don't get the best, it doesn't matter because it's 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 using a methodology to say, hey, this is what I'm doing, and I'm going to stick to that pattern because it 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 means, for instance, all the uh, the AI type stocks that we had, we took money off some really big gains, took a little bit off, a little bit off, and then kept a core position and some still got a core position and others would just let it get stopped out and said, okay, that's fine. But if you don't have the money management, for instance, we had a stock, a very low price stock. <clears throat> I put it in as a buy and then I said, you know, afterwards I said, you know, it's a tiny little stock, a tiny price stock in an area where there are some really big heavy hitters and the heavy hitters had started to come down, and this was holding so well. And then I, I, I kind of forgot my rule. Like the Dow, I said, if the general is moving up and the troops aren't following, something's got to give. But in this particular case, we got stopped out for a small loss. We're out of that. Some other things that we've got in the energy sector, one that we've got, very nice. Uh, very nice. I'll be back in a moment. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. 
The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Uh, hi, folks. We're back. So, um, so the expression, the Dave had, thank you, uh, NC1 in the uh, NCL, I think it is, in the den. Dave's saying was, sell when you can and not when you have to. I mean, that's just beautiful, beautiful statement right there. Um, so this is what we're looking at here in the 10-minute the E-mini. This Chem Wave inside wedge support line got hit, and it was also a left side, right side price time match to the little arch that was made right here in the 10-minute E-mini chart. And now it's trying to rally, but you see how long, look, that green nine period moving average. And this is what I'm going to be going through. We're going to be doing it. Uh, I'm doing it at four o'clock. So we will have a little bit of live action in the uh, S&P uh, E-minis or the, or the YM, the, the Dow e mini. So I'll be able to do some of this live because I want to demonstrate um, and talk about some of these techniques. And look, the nine period moving average in the 10 minute chart this morning, I wasn't up at uh, three. Uh, at 2.30 this morning at 44.20, turned green, and it stayed that way all the way to right there at, at 10 o'clock, or just about 10 o'clock at 44.20. Uh, so what do we have? We have a move that goes from 44.20 to 44.20, and that's the thing that I just, I want you to I talk about a lot about money management and how you can handle these things. Look. That's a fantastic gain from 44.20 to the high when, in fact, the market closed yesterday. That was a horrible, horrible close. And yet this still gave, and the Chapman Wave uh, trend gauge was a gain very, very high, which said that the S&P e mini should have a, a 12 to 15 point rally at some point, which would help the market if it's during the in, intraday. But if it's overnight, it should it should still have that within two days. Well, it had overnight because it went from a low in the 44, um, around about 44.09 area, all the way to the 44, uh, where was it, 36. I mean, that's a big move. So in terms of looking at this moving average, 44.20 to just going to a peak D and letting, letting that green move up, and there was that big spike up. Anywhere in those three bars, you could have taken some profits, and that's the way you do it, 44.35. So that's 15 S&P points. Now it's turning down, and I do have the arch formation. 
But this is always just a guideline. I, I also haven't yet put in what could be the arch formation. Right now, it's more like a rectangle formation going sideways. So I always put these patterns in, and I'll discuss these patterns. You know, I talk about a long rectangle, narrow rectangle pattern, everything that pertains to it. So within that context, oops, it took a little time to get that. There it is. Within that context, we're just kind of stuck here. But this is, do you remember when I said about three weeks ago and then two weeks ago, I said for a major cell mode to uh, unfold, when the nine period moving average is so strong, you would have to see like a minus 48 to a minus 53 S&P futures decline with the Dow down 385 to 425 points. Then the market opens really badly. Then it tries to rally, but it closes at the low of the day. And then it has to do that for like two, three days. And you have to have that VIX index really pushing very sharply higher. So this has been a rollover. It's been a very steady move to the downside. And when it does that, that's why I said to subscribers this morning, take a little bit off. I mentioned in the den, at this point, identifying the tide is the most important aspect. And I will explain when I get back. So I'm back. And now let me show you what I mean. <clears throat> I'm going to go through each of the indices. First of all, I, I was looking at this overnight. And the reason why we are in an energy-related stock is because I think this energy area is pertinent to areas that have held very well, they could still see some buying in this particular phase. Uh, I'll have to clarify that in a moment, but let me show you. So, and then I looked around, I'm looking at all these questions that came in. And um, in the Tiger YouTube, uh, baseball says, XLM, the cash bull, that keeps on giving, and its little brother, CVX. And then it goes on to say, um, XLE was one was on sale the first three days of this week, uh, and I uh, hope all loaded their wagons uh, with the black with the black juice party boat because he he always talks about um, crude oil as being the black juice. Absolutely. So look at the XLE. There's a pattern. Look at this in the weekly chart. There's this pattern I call the falling axe formation. I suppose I should just clarify that. Um, right there it's this pattern where you make you run up sharply then you make lower usually at a peak d or a c one c two whatever it is or an e <clears throat> but anyway you make a top and you start to make lower lows and lower highs it can go on for a long time or it could be very brief sometimes it's so brief it's like right here in the xle it did that uh, right at that peak f on the 31st at 8773 pulls back just for two sessions. Here's the pattern. I'll make it. I don't like it to get too cluttered, but I'll do this right there. What, making lower highs and much lower lows, and then breaks out, and it goes one-to-one to, one to the upside. This one also pulled back sharply, then gapped up, then it filled the gap, and now it's, it's working very nicely. See, the MACD is weak. The stochastic is at 68% weak. On balance volume had this double top, it's pulled back. Look at that nine period moving average. Let's just go to my uh, 914 chart right here. And let's put in the XLE, XLE, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Look at that. And it's done it before. It did go pink for a little, for about a week or so back in mid June. And then it went, uh, and it was green in mid, in early June. And mid June was uh, pink, and then it went green, and it stayed green. And we've got almost this a big cup formation with like a, 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 a cup and handle, right? So this is very important. So it's showing strength and the nine period moving average has moved up again. Yes, it could make the M-shaped pattern that says, whoops, watch the right side, but so far it's acting well. So yes, congratulations, eyeballs. I know that's, that's been your plan and it's worked very well. Let's just have a look at Exxon because um, XOM Right. So this one, look how sharply it pulled back and look at that nine period moving here and said, not with me, buddy. I'm still looking great. And it is looking great. So that's that's important. And CVX doesn't have the same chart pattern. Um, it's a, not quite as strong as XMM, but also holding very nicely. The nine is a little closer to turning down, but it hasn't yet. So, yes, I like that. So energy is something that you've got to keep in mind as at least viable rather than say, oh, it's fantastic. It's just a viable option right now as an, as perhaps an alternative 
to the other areas. As I say, like I, I we promised, uh, I said uh, a couple of people asked, could you look at, look at some of the semis? Yeah. So here's the semiconductor index. Uh, we did this yesterday. I was asked about the SOXS. Someone had got in. We we are short. We're actually a little bit aggressively short. <clears throat> The semis and the SOXS, we've got positions. Took a little bit off after that. Uh, we we took, we're along from way down here under nine. <clears throat> um, and that was uh, a position that we took. Then it crossed positive, the nine period moving average, and it went to a peak B. And I said, I think it should pull back. Then it should go to a leg C. But the 11.55 doji candle high, right way back here in June, I was asked by some people who said, hey, we might not be around for the next week or so. Where do you think it's going? And I said, I don't know, but 11.55 would be a target, a possible target. I'll be back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30 plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen, as well as many more. And he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30 year T bonds as they both influence Forex markets tremendously. When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, folks. So the Dow's up 93. Uh, yes, the S&P is up 3.85. A bit of divergence there. As I said, I think the Dow's definitely shown that it's the strongest of this. Hey, we've got just a Z, John, in fully on the line. John, how are you? Basil, I'm doing very well. Uh, thank you for taking the call, sir. My pleasure. Hey, Basil, What's the I question? I wanted to ask your assistance, please, specifically on the NASDAQ Composite Index. Uh, I believe the ticker symbol on that is COMP. 
Yeah, my my symbol is dollar C O M P X, but that's okay. Everybody right, has okay. different symbols on uh, different trading platforms. Uh, yes. Um, I called you back on August first and asked you the specific question on the big indices. Uh, if you saw the potential for trapdoor selling, I guess is the phrase Correct. I used. Yes. Well, we've been getting sell. Whether it's trapdoor selling or not, I guess we could uh, debate. But um, I wanted to ask, as the NASDAQ composite and the 100, NASDAQ 100, are both making uh, lower lows for the move here right yes. now. Uh, my question is, could you please go through um, the lower targets that might occur given your work and what sorts of things you'll be looking for for clues of bottoming action. Uh, if you could help me with that, I'd be much obliged. And if I could, I'd like to take your answer off air and just listen in uh, the Tiger's Den and Tiger TV. Thank you, John, for that question. And, you know, I had notated this when you had spoken because every once in a while I lose this data. I lost it again, so I'm busy doing it in a bit of a hurry here. So it doesn't matter. I don't need that. I don't need the, anything other than the chart pen. So I'll answer your question. You can go off air. I know you're in the den. You'll be listening. So that's a it's a good question because the comp is really it's it's the bigger picture of the of the Nasdaq. So this is a really good question. It's appropriate to to work on it right now. So let's go. So the comp index is down 47 at 13,426. Now you don't need to have all these fancy letters and all that. Uh, just I love to say I, I could take a naked chart that's just the bare chart. It doesn't even have to have candlesticks on it. I like the candlesticks because it, it does two things for me. Immediately, the, the look, little doji candle that I see, I see right at this double top. I, there are a lot of things that the candle itself, when you're used to the bars, you can see the same thing. It's just not in color. That's number one. And number two is I love the way when I have it, it just opens the chart out. When you've got the bars that kind of get stuck together. And since I'm really the most important thing in my notation in the Chapman Wave is to talk about peaks and troughs and label them from the from the bottom, identifying a low going all the way up. You can go peak A, B, C, D, E, F, G. There's never an H. You have to consider that's been a, re, uh, a reconfiguration. You've got to find out what it is and or restart or something like that and on the way down and it's uppercase on the way up lowercase on the way down that's as simple as that at peak d the object is to get you to d other things can happen so just on a purely visual basis in fact i wonder if I, i'm going to do that now let me see i'll take a chance and see if i've got the naked chart right here i can use that so i'm going to go to i think it's this chart i hope it is let's just see click uh open it out Yep, this is it. So let's do this. This is, uh, we've got it. I'm going to open it up, make it nice and big. And we'll deal with this as if it's a, a daily chart. And I'm going to put dollar C-O-M-P-X. And there we go. We've got the comp index. I'm going to change this to a daily chart. And on a purely visual basis, look what we've got. I can take a straight line. And do this and say, wow, look at that. This is absolutely key support. All right. I say, oh, wait a minute. Maybe I can do a channel. And if the channel gives me any information, uh, maybe that's going to tell me that I can maybe do a channel on the downside because that's what happens. It's like a midpoint of a channel. Well, lo and behold, there is a channel, but it popped out of it a couple of times call it the Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone, and it topped out right at the line that came down. So what I sometimes do, I just arbitrarily do it. I take this and I say, okay, if that's a midpoint, just visually, let's just have that put in there to say, all right, let's make it, uh, and that, that just sits there. It doesn't mean, in fact, I'm going to make it very light. I'll make it dashed, and then we'll see if anything touches it. And I'm doing it visually, remember? So it means that um, it might be off by a fraction, but I'm pretty good at this on the visual side. So let's just keep it there. That's number one. And then I say, okay, we've already taken it for two days. We've taken out that 
support line. So that means this line can go, bam, I don't need it anymore. It's, it's full dysfunction of being a repellent zone. Bam, it's gone. This line can now become the dotted line, dashed line. Why? Because um, it's kind of served its function. Okay, that's straight lines. Now, the next thing I look at is horizontal lines. Well, this low right here is at uh, 13,334. This is the comp index. This is the larger, I know, 2,000 something stocks in the comp index. So, this low of 13,334 goes peak A, peak B. And I remember that this was a question whether it was a continuation of that pattern or not, but it doesn't matter. I'm going just for the moment, I'm going to call it um, peak A, peak B, peak C1 and C2, just for the moment. I don't have to do anything other than that. This is history. I can call it anything I want, but it's arching over. Then I say, okay, if I was here and I did this on the QQQs the other day, I would do a left side, right side price time match. Where would I go to? Normally, I'm a little conservative. I first go to the to the previous high. And then I say, you know, it looks to me that it would have to pull back really sharply. So the other rule of thumb I have, and I talk about this with subscribers, is I go to the trough of this double top. That's an option. So I go to the trough of this double top. And I say, I think it needs a little more time. And then I go click and I say, left side, right side price time match. I love when it's a plumb line right in the middle, but sometimes it's not. Um, but I have techniques to identify it. And I put that in and I make that green because that was on the way up. And then I put that in and I put it on the way down. And then I would take a, tr uh, a particular peak or a gap or something on the left side and I'd say, can I do this, make this a diagonal line that goes to join where I had? And I don't want to do that right now because I, I don't want to show you the other side. So within that context, I'm this is what I'm looking at. I'm looking at an arch formation. A little aggressive would say I take it to the exact midpoint, but I'm looking and I'm saying, well, it's still trying to test the highs. I'm just going to think that it goes to this particular doji. I love these candles over here. And now we'll look at the right side. And where did it go to? As we're speaking, it's going to this particular point right there. If I had put an X in, it would be almost at the X. So that's the first level. I'll be back and we'll talk about the rest of the the rest of the story. Dow's up 60, SBs uh, unchanged. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the US futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. 
Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. So let's go back to the comp index, and we're looking at uh, this arch with the left side, right side. I use this as the price time symmetry right there but each one is different so when i go back to the low of early june at 13089 i could go use that same midpoint but that looks to me at the, the acceleration that is coming down now to go to the september the 9th that just doesn't look right to me so you remember this is if it was automated I probably couldn't have, if I had these choices, it would drive the machine absolutely, no, it would drive me and the machine nuts. So I do this just in experience and I, and using techniques that these are tried and tested techniques. So all I can say is, in this particular instance, my thinking is, it's just way too long to wait. So this is the one I'm using from here to the exact midpoint. Why? Because each one gets its own character. You have to, you can't just use the character of one particular uh, aspect and say that's going to fit everything. No. So I'm using this particular one right here with that doji candle high. And that says by the uh, 20, by the 30th of August. So 30th of August says, Two we almost, it's two weeks time. I mean, that's even that's too long because I think if this is going to accelerate, even if we get a bounce, it'll be a little earlier than that. So this is the line to me that is most important. The Chapman Wave inside wedge target support line. So let me make it dash, maybe make it pink. And it says we could bounce at any point from here from a little bit lower down the low that was we're talking about two lows. We're talking about the low of the 26th of June of 13,334 and then the little higher one of 13,366. So the 13,360 to 30 area in the next couple of days. If that's taken out, that's and if today, I can just tell you, if the Dow closes at any point on any 30-minute chart, closes minus 30 at any stage, I think we can see quite an ugly close. So this is a really important session. Um, so that's the way I would look at it. So that's the daily chart. Remember, I'm only going very slow, and I'm saying this is going to be the support level. It's a, it's a rising trend line. The whole 12,008 uh, to 900 area is my first real big support. And then I say, wait a minute. If this keeps coming down like that, now I can go to uh, – where did I want to go? Oh, let me just show you this before I go. You see, here's the five-minute chart. Look at the 200-period E-mini of the e – the E-mini uh, was – it couldn't even be a propellant. It just went right through it. Now it's a repellent zone. But look, it's still pink, and it keeps coming, making lower lows and lower highs. Uh, and this trend line, the reason why I wanted to show you is in the 10-minute chart, the dashed Chapman Wave inside wedge target support line has held as support, keeps holding. When that breaks, then we will start to see a deeper decline. So that's what I'm looking at there. So I want to go now to the real charts, John, and say if at any point the uh, comp index, I've got it all in the queues and I'll show you in a moment. Uh, if the comp index actually gets to the 13,200 area, 
it says to me that on the weekly for the very first time we've got a sell a potential just a sell signal to get the nine to close under the 14 period you'd have to look at below 12,500 so this is a this is a fantastic indicator it's just saying there's internal strength um, so be careful and the monthly chart is still strong but this is the one to watch. So that means this doji candle here, that would be, it all coincides with what I'm looking at. So this whole area here of 13,385 uh, to 13,089 for this candle, that's the next key support level. If, um, if it turns down and I get a sell signal, it's going to take a lot. We could still have a decent rally. It is because of the green in the weekly chart. So I'm saying going, the daily chart is in a sell mode. Weekly chart hasn't yet given a sell signal. We'll see at Friday's close. So that's the way I'm looking at it. And I'm only, only going step by step. If I went by I and I said, oh, my God, and I wasn't looking at the 940, and I'd look at this and i say, whoa, Sarkasi's given back a lot, MACD, everything's negative. Um, I would say, oh, 12,500. I can't do that. Buying is going to come in at any point, even with the SMHs. Uh, look at the SMHs. Uh, <laughs> I want you to do this in a, I'll do it in a moment. I want you to show you uh, the the weekly chart, even with a sharp two week pullback. This is the third week now, and it's not really a big pullback for the for the week. Um, that it's still green is way over the fourteen period. But look at the weekly weekly. I mean, it's the daily daily looks horrible. So with that said, let me show you the QQQ. Maybe you can use this as well because I had questions about it. I've got it written down as a QQQ. The QQQ. Um, is not quite, it doesn't quite look the same as the comp index because it's just the 100 stocks. It's the Investor QQ Trust series. So my, my first real test here will be the low that was made June the 26th at 3.57. And all the time, 3.57.58. And all the time I'm looking at this, I'm saying any spike to the upside has such resistance. Look, 3.67 is the pink nine period moving average in the daily of the QQQ. 369 is the 14. To get the pink to turn positive, you'd have to see a couple of days of trading in the 373 area. I don't see anything right at this moment to get us there. So, John, I hope that helps you. Upside resistance is kind of negative. The downside uh, is a little open until these particular support levels are taken out. And then you go to the next level. In the queues, the next level will be down here at the uh, 7th of June low of 348. But I, I don't want to talk about 348 when you're at 361, when I haven't got evidence that the weekly chart is even giving a, sig a signal. Hope, I hope that helps you. So a couple of questions that I needed to get at you. I think I've forgotten a bunch of other things that I wanted to do. Yeah, HGX. Oh, I was talking about the tide. So what I wanted to show you is this. Look, the SMHs have, have given one of the, the biggest signals in a long time to say on the shorter term, there's a tremendous amount of weakness. So you don't want to... Even in the, the market now, and John, you'd be the perfect person. I was actually going to use you a little earlier as the the example in the den. There are other people as well, but I, I thought I'd use you because you get mentioned so much because of the great work you do. Um, who identify a trend and then say, this is the trend. Therefore, anything I do against it, I must find that chart from my CD using channel wave. It just visually is so perfect. And what it does is, it shows you that when you identify the trend correctly, you know when you throw a, a piece of driftwood out, and look, if I did this, oh, I don't like to mess the charts up. If I do this, doesn't it look completely wrong when my arrow is going like that? Because if you were shorting at any point, you'd have to do it really quickly. You could be perfect. That's great. But if you were long and wrong, Look how the tide, the rising tide saves you. You want to go long on the up moves and shorten the down moves. I'm going to write that down because I tend to also sometimes make that mistake. So that's what I'm looking at here. And as a result, um, this is the trend. And now let me show you something else. NVIDIA, nothing to see here yet. Look, it's just sideways. It's got the falling axe formation. It hasn't broken up. But wait a minute. 
Um, the tentacles are, are negative, and it's got the pink nine period moving average. So that's what I wanted to show you. If you go to Intel, Intel got slammed. It's right on the 200 period moving average. I'll be back. Dow's up 71. We'll be right back. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. NN.com. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, oh, folks. So just let me do this real quickly here. Oh, I got a ton of questions. So just my opening call, subscriber webinar Wednesday. This coming Wednesday, 4 o'clock to 5.30. Uh, it's going to be really important. Talking about the 9.40 and all the other techniques that I use uh, and what, what I'm looking at for the coming, uh, certainly the coming weeks going into September. Uh, and let me go backwards here. XLU was a question. XLU is the S&P Utility Spider Fund. Wow, if it doesn't, it's a 63. If it can't get to the 65, 60, uh, 65 area by next week, the, the weekly uh, technicals are going to really deteriorate a lot, and that includes the monthly. So this is not a good sign at all. Uh, let's see, I wrote it down. Um, HGX, uh, that's the uh, Philadelphia Housing Sector Index. Finally, the nine-period moving average closed negative. I think there's the rectangle formation plus the big arch formation, peak D. I think this is heading down. Uh, it better hold, the, it's 555. It better hold the 549 support level. Looking at Apple, Apple is trading very negatively. The, the left side target of 170 is going to be really important. 168 is the 200 period moving average. I suspect that it could go there. Meta, 
uh, Meta, oh, why did they say Meta? Facebook. Facebook is uh, down. It's testing the, it's just about to test the left side low yeah, at 292. If any day in the next three days it actually closes below 288, ooh, that means that it's testing the uh, 283 would be the 14 period exponential moving average support. Looking at the FCG, I didn't finish doing the notation there. FCG looks really good. First national. First Trust Natural Gas. Isn't this interesting that this natural gas fund is doing well, but natural gas is looking terrible itself. So, yeah, this is looking... I'll do a little bit more on this one tomorrow. In fact, all of them tomorrow. This is holding well. Um, so if you're long, I think you're long. Uh, keep holding. I think I've got to all those questions. I'm just going to say have a wonderful rest of the day. Stay tuned for Steve Roach. It'll be great programming here today. And um, I'll see you tomorrow. Check out my opening call daily newsletter. Don't forget about my webinar coming up Wednesday, this Wednesday.